and this is the start of chicken season for us. One thing that we knew we wanted to still do at least is our meat chickens because you gotta eat. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. All right, we made it to our campsite, guys. We're headed home this morning. This is egg casserole and some gluten-free pumpkin muffins. Plus coffee. We need to get home pretty quick because we have chickens on the way. We boxed up our chickens for McMurray Hatchery. So these are actually our chickens that we're taking home or we're not taking home. And then they're shipping them to our house. Initially, we're gonna bring them home, but you know, didn't want to have a bunch of chirping chickens in our trailer here. It took a couple days to get home, but our chickens beat us to it. I just got the phone call from the post office, guys, that our chickens are already there. We're still three hours away. We're trying to make it. We have 20 minutes before the post office closes. We're almost there. You know, we're down to one lane now. They've been doing some work right here, so we're like almost there. All right, I think we made it, guys. <laughs> I got 10 minutes before this post office closes. Here to pick up baby chickens. Oh. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, just made it. We have chickens from McMurray Hatchery. <laughs> it's kind of funny because we're just there. We made it. All right. All right. <laughs> that was a long trip, guys. And over 900 miles to McMurray Hatchery in Iowa. And then back just right now, picking up chickens. This is a lot of work. Hey, chickens. All right, gotta count all the chickens after vacation. They look like they're all here. Hey, Bernice. Look alive, chickens, we got more egg layers. I didn't think the chickens would come that fast. I thought they were gonna come tomorrow, so we had like a day. But we should be good to go in here. Uh, we got heat lamps already. Yeah, we should have everything. You know, I just thought I would have them in this barn. The plan was to raise the baby chickens in the brooder in this barn, but currently we still have no electricity in this barn. We need to load that brooder and then move it closer to the house, but I gotta see if it fits in back of my truck. Nope. Especially right now, I need to remind myself is that, hey, this is just the beginning. We're just starting. Things are not the way they should be, and they're only gonna get better. While we're getting our new chickens ready, let's talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. When we first started our homestead, we knew it was important to have an online home, and Squarespace has been that for us. We've been using them for over six years now. It has very clean, modern templates where it's really drag and drop, so it makes it super easy to build your own website. Squarespace helped our homestead grow because we use Squarespace to sell some of our products, such as downloadables. Some of the stuff that I build here, I also make DIY step-by-step -step plans for, and I use Squarespace so you can purchase those and download them. Another way we use Squarespace is for our member area. We created an online chicken processing course and there you could find that and by the way that course is open right now so if you're looking to build a homestead with your own website check out Squarespace and also I gave you a 10% discount link down below in the show notes so you can check that out thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video now let's get back to the chickens All right, this is the official start of chicken season. I'm glad I decided to keep this then because I was gonna leave it with the house that we sold. This is one of the important builds that I did of this chicken brooder. We use this makeshift screen to keep out some of the wood shavings out of the water and it elevates it a little bit off the wood shavings. And then we add some apple cider vinegar with the water. It's for good health. It's an electrolyte, kind of cleanses everything. It's level. 
go Bernice. Bernice! Hey, we got some more Bernices. These are our black Australorps. We have Murray's Big Red Broilers. We have 40 of these, and these are meat chickens. These chickens were hatched on Tuesday morning, and then after they count them, box them up, they ship them out that day. So by like 5, 5.30, they're out the door, ready to be shipped. So then Wednesday, today's Thursday. So Thursday morning, they called me up and said they're at our post office. These guys beat us to it on our road trip. Because they are mixed up, there's egg layers in here, and then there's red broilers in here, meat birds. So it might be hard to, to differentiate what's what. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna guess that the broilers are all like the solid tan color, and then these are the egg layers. So what about these ones? That's probably an egg layer. The red broilers are a slower growing breed. Other than the Cornish crosses, they're a really fast breed and they, they grow fast. Uh, but compared to an egg layer, the broilers are still a fast grower. Now it's pretty common that you might lose one or two, maybe three chickens during that transport of in the mail. It doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen. Everybody does this different, but what we like to do is dip their beaks in the water. That kind of just like maybe wakes them up, lets them know that there's water here and we have it. Um, because you know, it is a long trip and they were just barely born. We also got chick grit here. This is like chicken teeth. It's just <laughs> tiny rocks. I do have plans for this brooder, guys. I'll leave the link down below if you want to build this. I made this brooder to hold 30 chickens. We have a lot more in here right now. I believe we should have about 60. I believe it's these guys are the red broilers right here. And we should have 40 of these. This is our sixth year raising our own meat chickens. They're alert, they're moving, they're acting like chickens. Yeah. All right, Penelope just confirmed it. We do have 60 chickens here. 60 chickens made it. None of them died during transport. Awesome job, McMurray. After coming from McMurray Hatchery just a few days ago, it's awesome to see them here. Uh, they look alive. And this is the start of chicken season for us. You know, we're right in the middle of a move, or we just moved and we're still trying to move in and get everything situated. But one thing that we knew we wanted to still do at least is our meat chickens because you gotta eat and we enjoy doing it. These chickens will be in here for about four weeks, but if it's still like this where it's actually 75 degrees right now and if it still continues to be that warm, then they'll probably only be in here for maybe three weeks. That reminds me, I need to get our chicken tractors from our neighbor's house. It's the next day after we just got back from our trip. Hopefully we can just start getting back into it. We need to move these chickens. This wheel system is called a chick lift. I'll leave a link down below and if you tell them Jason from So The Land sent you when you buy one, I would really greatly appreciate it. Let's see how the chickens did last night. Hey, meatballs. I need to figure out a different brooder or a bigger brooder because 60 chickens are not gonna all fit in there eventually. Eventually, it's just gonna get too much and you know, this is really only meant for about 30 chickens, maybe 40, but <clears throat> definitely not 60. Another thing I have to do today is get my lawnmower, my John Deere lawnmower. It's at my other neighbor's house. I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed of showing you guys this. Hey, Bernice. This is definitely not where we want to be. This is definitely not a good nesting box for the chickens. But what are you gonna do, right? What are we, what are we gonna do? You know, <laughs> hold on chickens. You know, we just have eggs everywhere. I guess it's just finding the time to build another egg laying chicken coop. We still have stuff at our neighbor's houses, like our chicken tractors, my walk-in cooler, and my lawnmower. Take two. Hop on. It's always better the second time. And pretty much all of my feed barrels. 
This little trailer just doesn't seem like that's big enough anymore. Now that I have this 14 acres, certain things just seem too little now. It seems like a toy. I never did fix this little, I forget what it's called. It's a little spinner thing that, that, that spins the motor and, and gets it going. The old stick a screwdriver in it trick. What do you think? You think I could get sponsored by John Deere and they'll send me a lawn tractor or some kind of lawnmower? Uh, I don't know. I've d I tried it before and apparently I don't have enough subscribers. That reminds me, 70%, 70% guys, of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed to our channel. What's up with that? So if you have not, please hit that subscribe button. This is your friendly reminder.